Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com. Today I want to show you how to add effects automation to one of your drums in a pattern. If you remember from the last two videos, we've been working on creating this hip-hop beat and then adding some EQ and compression to further bring out some of the positive elements of the beat. Here's what we have so far. So what I want to do is add further excitement to this pattern by doing a little bit of reverb automation on our hi-hat sound. Now the way you set this up is as follows. First you'll want to click on the drum that you want to add automation to. That'll bring up its channel right here. You want to come up here to this little effects box and drag this number up to whatever insert effect channel on your mixer you want to work with. I'll just use insert 1 since we're not using it for anything else. Next I'll come back over to our mixer. Remember you can access it through this button right here and I'll add a reverb unit to the first slot here. I'll just click on the little triangle and come down to Fruity Reverb. We'll go with the original one. The interface it brings up is fairly straightforward, but you do have a nice selection of parameters here. So first let's make sure that the hi-hat sound is going through the reverb. And yeah, you can hear it on there a little bit. So now let's work on creating a basic reverb patch that we can automate a little bit. The first thing I want to do is bring the room size way down. And I want to bring the reverb percentage up so that we can hear it more in the mix. Let's try that. That's pretty extreme, but we'll automate one of these reverb settings later to make it sound a little bit more subtle. And then I'll adjust the high damping down a little bit to say 2 kilohertz. Alright, that sounds like enough default reverb on the hi-hat sound, and now we can get to the business of automating it. Now the best way to figure out what parameters you'd like to automate is simply to tweak them in real time while you're playing the beat back. I really like the sound of that high damping parameter being manipulated while the beat plays back, so of course it's a prime candidate for automation. So I'm just going to close this window right here and clean up our workspace a bit. I'll close the mixer channel as well and just keep the reverb and our beat pattern open. The next thing I want to do to add automation is bring up the playlist view, which is this very first button here in the upper right of the FL Studio interface. I'll just click on it and you're given the playlist view here. Now first we want to create an automation clip for the parameter that we want to adjust. Since I want to automate the high damping parameter, I simply right click on it and go to create automation clip. And as you can see over here in the playlist view, it's created an automation clip for me to adjust. The next thing I want to do is just drag in one section of my drum pattern and then extend this automation clip out so that it lasts throughout the entire drum beat. Now one thing you're going to want to do here is actually turn on the snap to grid button and then just go ahead and snap this to something really coarse like say a whole step. So now when I drag this around it snaps right to the boundary of the bar. Now let me show you something about what's happened with our pattern view over here. When I created that automation clip it changed our view, got rid of all of our drums and just brought up the automation clip here. You can change that and go back to your drum view simply by clicking in this drop down and going to all. And there you go, you've got all your drum sounds as well as this automation clip now. So moving back to the playlist view, the last thing we want to do is switch over to song mode. As you can see we have it on pattern mode right now, so when I play this, it's actually playing through the pattern here instead of over here. But if I click song mode now, I get my playhead right there, and now it plays back through song mode as I wanted it to. Now I can adjust these automation settings for the high damping parameter and we can get a little bit of animation going for the hi-hat. So generally what I want to happen is for the high damping parameter to start out low and then I'm going to add another control point right here by right clicking on this line and I'm going to drag that up so that it has kind of a exponential increase and then it comes back down again right around here. I'll add another control point right here and then drag it down and do the same with this one. So that's sounding pretty much like I want it to, except now I want the high damping to come up again right around here. So I'll make another control point, and then drag this up. And then I'll just drag all this over right here 
about where those second set of hi-hats hit. As you can see over here, when I play back the pattern, the automation is affecting the parameter and making it move on its own. So that concludes the basics on how to do FX automation in FL Studio. I'll see you next time for more music production tips and tricks. Stay creative!